they've gone? It would seem so. And with nary a look back. It was a long battle. Indeed it was. After 2,500 years, the battle is over at last. finally over after endless parts so here's my take on the game because I'm not doing no big review on it so this is going to be the review uncut honest right the game I began this playthrough back in like 2022 I believe and I basically just kind of pushed it to the back burner because better games came out and I lost interest in playing Bravely Default. I lost interest in playing it. Um, however, getting back to it uh, this year, it really made me, you know, want to play the, the follow-up games, you know, Bravely Second, uh, the End Lair, and... Uh, Bravely Default 2, which I believe came out on the Switch. Uh, both of those games, by the way, I do have. Um, and I do plan on doing playthroughs of them for the, uh, you know, just for reference. But this story was pretty good. However, I do feel like at times it was drawn out. But it was based on your lack of knowledge of the game, it seems. You know, playing through this, so why is that clock glitching? I have no clue. But anyway, playing through this, it really, like, It can be a love or hate experience. You know, obviously playing through the game, trying to awake the crystals of the first go around, it really makes you uh, enjoy the journey. However, when you get the crystals and you first fly into that pillar of light and it resets the world, kind of, I'm kind of glad it gives you a chance to go back and get some of the optional jobs that you didn't get a chance to do during your first go around of the crystals it does give you a chance to get those other jobs um however the constant well, like, if you do all that the first time to, the, the feeling of you having to do it like a second time or whatever like that it does kind of get repetitive and boring Especially when you don't know how to access the final job class that they have available because I don't even know what it is I can assume that it's the quote-unquote angel Job class or whatever or maybe it's some something else completely, but I wasn't able to find it. So It, it did get kind of tedious after a while, but As you're awakening the crystals they give you a certain instruction not to continue to press X which it turns into like a mini game of sorts where you just got to keep pressing X in order to get the crystal to power up and awaken. But if you keep pressing it past when Aerie the Chris Fairy tells you to, to stop, then it goes into this uh, this dialogue where Aerie is trying to warn you and telling you to stop and all that. And it seems that if you do that sooner than later, then you can access the final chapter. Don't quote me on that. That's what that, that's just the educated guess. It's just my hypothesis. Um, because something just told me during that third, um, the after the awakening of crystals the second time. It all, it all must begin with me. Oh, well, she was praying. Oh, well, she's going on a journey, I guess, to fix everything. But yeah, during that se after after awakening the crystals the second time. That third time, something just told me to keep pressing X. Because I, I, I mistakenly did that during the second time awakening the crystals. We've returned, and... Your Highness. I hadn't dared to hope, but the Warrior of Light returns. A feast! A feast for our hero! Yeah, during the second time of awakening the crystal. I accidentally kept pressing X and it's like she kind of warned, Eri kind of warned me that the crystal was gonna, you know, 
something was going to happen. So about the time that third go round came, something just told me just keep pressing X and see what happens. And just keep pressing it. And that gained us access to the final chapter. So I'm wondering if if you do that earlier, would that give you access to the final chapter right away? So I'll see your ideals given form five. The drawn out story and having to replay everything again, it kind of puts you in that mode where like, okay, if I do do this maybe i can not have to worry about playing through this all over especially if you did everything the first go around um, and there's rigor bell or at least that version of him So I'm wondering if Aerie ended up like taking away her, taking away Rigabelle's memory and he slowly got it back over time. Okay. Yes. Things can I clip the Vestal Guard? Airy lies. Oh, wow. Is a bravely default Airy lies. Okay. So I'm assuming that there's. Maybe there's like a, let me see, because I just want to know what the, what, what the final job class is, like we never got any type of confirmation as to what the last job class is, like we're still missing one, so let me, let me just Google search, if it's that angel job class then I'll, you know, I have a feeling it's going to be jobs. Here we go. Job classes. Merchant, Spell Fencer, the Blood Rose Legion. We got that. The Black Blades, the Council of Six, a Conjurer. That's the one we didn't get. We didn't get the Conjurer. I, I don't have no clue how to get that. The Conjurer. How do you get this? The Conjurer. It's saying about defeating Sage Juliana. How the hell are you supposed to beat him? How do you even fight him? So they don't tell you how to fight him. At the end of the sub scenario that takes place in chapter six, it's obtained by defeating Saint Juliana. Okay, so technically we're at the end of chapter six already. Do we just go back there and just get it? Let's go see. This will answer so many questions as to how to obtain this thing.
let's, let's just see if we can get it. Hmm? Where's the safe? What's this? It's written in his head. I await you at the chamber of the Council of Six in the land with... No way to in the chamber to count. Oh, so he's where what you call him is. Let's find out. Like I said, I'm just doing this just to see if we can get the final job class. That way, if somebody plays this game later on, they'll be able, they'll know. in the chamber in the council of six that means we gotta go here Item. Thank you. 